now we know how many milliliters it takes to reach equivalence. Now we can calculate the pH at point B. So remember, our reaction in this case is hydrochloric acid, strong acid, reacting with sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. Whenever you have a strong base, remember strong bases, we treat them like salts. They dissociate into sodium plus and hydroxide minus. We know that sodium plus is not an acid and it's not a base, so we can neglect this. And we can focus on the reaction by just writing hydrochloric acid plus hydroxide. The acid donates and the base accepts. We have a strong acid and a strong base. As long as one component is strong, this reaction will go 100% to the product side. So the product we make is water and chloride. Now, the amounts that we have at point B. We have our fixed amount, 20 milliliters, 0.35 molar hydrochloric acid. The sodium hydroxide is 9 milliliters at this point, and it's 0.5 moles per liter. We're mixing those two solutions together. And whenever you mix those two solutions together, you have to do the dilution shortcut. M1V1 equals M2V2. And we have to do it for every chemical that shows up in the ice chart. So we're going to do this for hydrochloric acid. M1, starting molarity, 0.35. V1, the volume used, is 20 milliliters. M2 is what we're trying to solve for. And V2 is the total, 20 plus 9, 29 milliliters. So the diluted molarity of the hydrochloric acid is 0.2414. And we want to carry out at least four decimal places so we don't make a rounding mistake. We're going to do the same thing for the hydroxide. 0.5 molar, we use 9 milliliters. Total volume, 29. So the hydroxide dropped from 0.5 down to 0.1552 molar. Now we have all the parts for our ice chart. Our M1V1, M2V2 numbers go in for the initial row. Pure water, liquid, doesn't show up, so we don't need that. And the chloride starts at zero. We know this reaction goes 100% to the product side. So whatever chemicals are limiting reactant, a nice one-to-one -one ratio, so we know the smaller number is our limiting reactant. And the hydrochloric acid that's left, 0 0.0862. The chloride that's made, 0.1552. So just like in the past, you want to identify what kind of chemical or chemicals you have. We still have some strong acid. The strong base has all been neutralized. And we have chloride. Chloride is the conjugate of hydrochloric acid, which means chloride is not an acid and it's not a base, so we can ignore it. So this question is now, what, how do you find the pH of 0 0.0862 molar hydrochloric acid? And we know how to calculate the pH of a strong acid. This pH works out to be 1.06. Notice... Before we started titrating, point A, our pH was more acidic, 0 0.46. Point B, we dumped in 9 milliliters of a strong base, and the pH goes up. Didn't go up very much, because we still have a lot of acid left.